hello please good afternoon i woke up like an hour ago it's currently almost one so i woke up at 12 because i went to bed at five because i decided to oh, because it's in this place i decided to edit the vlog that is meant to go up today um i tried to vlog a bit i was at the market all day yesterday like i left around 10 a.m we branched got to the market maybe 12 and we left around like 5 30 so a full day and i almost cancelled but i'm so happy i didn't speaking of, hold on hold on hold on thank you for this deep Hello, Kristen. You said morning time now. Have you sent it? Kristen, please don't send it to that night. Okay, thank you. I have the guy, like, I have guys there. Like, they know me now. We're all pals. <laughs> so, um, Mondays, I've always, growing up, I've always known that Monday is like a good day to go to the market. But for some reason, I don't think I've gone to the market on Monday. And guys, I'm so happy I did. I almost cancelled it because. I was like, oh, let me go to date Tuesday since I haven't edited the vlog. And I was going to do that. Then my cousin was coming to pick up something. And I was like, she's going to the market. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I showered, came down, and I'm happy. We did super productive. Whenever I go to market, I'm like more, I don't know. I'm just a bit more excited, more creative. Um, you guys know I, oh, I have KKASA, but then I'm trying to mix in my YouTube and my personal brand so sometimes i have to shut off something to put back something so low key because of the drop had gone kcasa had been shut off which is why i had the social media manager before to handle that but mm, i don't know i just was i don't know i just did that didn't that didn't pan out so well because when i shut off kcasa i still wanted to be running but i just haven't i haven't found someone that gets my vision so today i'm actually taking out my hair I honestly don't mind it. I actually like leaving my hair for a while. For you guys that doubt that, but guys, if you can see, this hair is dragging. My like almost. I had to take out the back because because it's so heavy. It was literally pulling at my hair. So I feel like my hair is cutting. The longer I'm leaving, like, do you see this strand? Even me packing is not really helping. But do you see? Look at my hair. This is still my hair. This is where the attachment comes. So it's just pulling at it. And I'm like, yeah, it's a month today, actually. Today makes it a month. So I booked my Instagram. <laughs> I booked a hair appointment takedown for tomorrow, but I didn't, I didn't see a time. I wanted it tomorrow, but I didn't see a time for tomorrow. So I booked for today. And then also, I used to get a facial. Not to because I'm getting facials every month, but... <laughs> The lifestyle cursed. <laughs> okay, to be honest, that's not why. I've just been lazy. My last facial was in March. So I was like, no, I'm going to get a facial this month. You guys know, next month is my birthday. And even though I don't I don't really do anything. I think last year was my party, my first ever birthday party. Um, like a proper one. I I like to feel my best during my birth month. Like I want my skin to be my skin best. Um, fitness best anything I want get it I already I got my birthday dress yesterday <laughs> I'm not having a party this year by the way so I got my birthday dress yesterday I think yesterday was Sunday yeah sorry guys I got distracted but yeah I was basically saying um, I like when skin is done skin is good fitness oh yeah I was talking about my birthday dress right I got it and I'm not having a party. I, think, I can't remember why I stopped. I think that's why I stopped. But yeah, my yes, this is why I stopped. My friend, my friend, well, they're both my friends. Melissa's sister, Marianne, is coming back from America like next week. So whoop, there you guys are. The way people drive in this Lagos, you really have to be praying for journey mercies <laughs> to get to your. 10 minute destination um sorry if this is shaking like it is what it is yeah she's coming back next week so i just asked and she because uh, la, la. so i thought she's coming back next week and i'm just like you know what it was so impulsive i didn't even think because i was like what am i gonna wear my birthday 
I hardly really thought of anything, but I'm like, this is America. The world is my oyster. I can literally order from anywhere. So I did. I'm going to tell you guys where I ordered it from because I feel like you would know the dress. Oh, so I'm going to tell you eventually when I'm wearing it. I'm doing that since it's a wedding dress, but that's just me. Wow. Sorry. But yeah, so where I'm going to? I'm going to Noah's Skin. It's my friend Oshua's business. And her skin is amazing. And yeah, I just decided to go because one, she's good. Two, support each other's businesses because she definitely um, supports Kikasa and all of that. And again, she's good. So I'm not taking a risk. Uh, yeah, so it's in VI um, near is where I did my pop-up shop. I don't think I was vlogging at that time. Yeah, it was too much going on. What's that place? Is it a popular hotel or restaurant people? I think it's the same building. I put it on the screen. But yeah, I'm seven minutes away. My appointment is for 1.30. It's 1.25. I told you guys, if someone is waiting for me, I'm most likely not going to be late. It's when I'm going for something that no one, like, yeah. So I think I'll be there, like, maybe a minute or two late yeah. <laughs> I'm early right <laughs> well, I'm right on time do you guys have um, Wi-Fi is it fast I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Hi, CEO. Hello. Oh my god, look at your skin. Guys, look at her skin. Why are you not hiding? Look at my skin. So pretty. My money has finished here. <laughs> Yes, we did. And yeah, guys, we'll okay, wash out my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I don't think I spoke to you guys yesterday, but basically I'm here at my manufacturers and guys, hmm. I think I'll just you guys after because 
The summary is everything is expensive. Everything has doubled now. I went to the market. I showed you guys that the price of material doubled. My manufacturer just told me that they're going to increase production. And that is scaring me. So let's see what they have to say. Let me finalize on things. And yeah, I will tell you guys the update. Send another, send another one. That's all I have. Because this is a size large, actually. This one I'm also, mm, maybe, but it's not as long because I also need to. Yeah, it's big. And you want the band in front or everything elastic with rope. The other one has elastic yeah. rope. So I, this, this is what I want. <laughs> Guys. Anyway guys, long story short, K Casa has to we have to review our prices. When I was thinking about this brand, I was always like, oh you know, I want affordable and I guess affordable is relative to people, to whoever you're asking. But I was just like, oh why don't we have like affordable, affordable? But I've realized why in Nigeria you hardly find things that like that are really good with quality and that are mildly affordable because everything is so expensive dollar is high and sometimes i hear people say oh why do nigerians like referring to dollar when we deal in naira first of all that's a very daft statement <laughs> because we are a third world country we cannot survive without the dollar we don't we don't we don't produce anything everything here is imported what rate do you think they're importing? Uh, you think they're using naira? I don't think it's they're using the dollar rate. Then you change it to a naira. So every single thing, every material, everything you're trying to do has been imported. <laughs> it has been imported, especially fabric, everything. So when they are telling you in the market, they're like, "Do you know how much dollar is?" Or this, 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 because they are all importing. So I just wanted to educate people. I've seen, but obviously, if you ask that sniper, I've seen so many, so many people like say it in a very condescending way, like, "Ugh, ah, uh, is it not why? Why are you talking about the lot? Like, did you skip economics class? I don't understand." But um, yeah, and I, you know, when I talk to people that have been in business, all I keep hearing is that you're in a business, not a charity. Um, Yes, I would love everybody to be able to buy and da, 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 but that's not sustainable. My business will close because, again, this is self-funded. Um, we don't have any big invest yet because, you know, things things will change, I believe so. Um, but for now, this is primarily me, you guys, and, you know... I've been on YouTube for a minute and I always knew I wanted to have like a product and I was saving for that, all of that and I need to be making back the money to continue here and grow. We're not even up to one year yet and it's been amazing and we've been selling out all of that but sometimes it's not only about selling out, it's like are you actually making your profit are you not not even profit to like oh the profit, the profit i'm talking about is profit so that you can reinvest and increase your scale and everything so um i'm trying to be more transparent with you guys with my business i really haven't and i i want to change that i'm trying not to let the what i've seen so far when it comes to business everyone hides a lot just in terms of like showing you the struggle like it's not everything is not rosy I'm so stressed. I'm spending a lot of money. Like I am spending a lot of money. If you noticed, I haven't traveled in a minute. I just feel like life is in seasons and I try not to let myself get carried away. Like, oh my God, everyone's traveling. I want to travel. Like, yeah. Well, after traveling, what am I coming back to? <laughs> coming back to what? My business feeling and me not putting out more things and buying more things and it's just like I had to prioritize like 
your business, your YouTube, camera equipment, hire more people, pay more salaries. All that is money. All that is money. So, um, yeah, it's really, I don't know. But this is just one of those times where, like, it's a little bit rocky. And I'm online, so I feel sometimes people might be a bit more harsh. Because, like, uh, why are you charging someone? But it's like, girl, this is my only option if you want to keep seeing me doing what I'm doing. Um, I can't go bankrupt trying to please everyone or make everyone say, oh my god, yeah, that's so good and it's so, like, <laughs> it's never that expensive, like, yeah. But yeah, that's just the sp spiel, you know? I feel all that business owners, it might be easier for them to just change because, like, mm, but, change, but it's kind of like, it's been, I can't see, why is it this price? Was that price? This is like, I just feel like, I feel an added level of pressure because, like, oh, what would he say? But at the end of the day, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do because they have increased their prices, the market increased their prices, my cost of materials, all my packaging. You like all this aesthetics, they've increased their prices. Every single person has increased their prices. I cannot stay. On the price I've been staying on it's just not possible and um, yeah so that's where we're at um, God willing we will still be great we will still be fine but just guys you just have to do your math how much does it cost to produce one and how much am I selling the math was not my thing so anyway I don't want to bore you too much just Thought to be vulnerable, share a bit of Kekasa, the back end, like properly actually tell you, like show you the not so fun or pretty side. I am stressed. I'm actually stressed. Um, but such is life. <laughs> such is life. And that's why it's always good to like prioritize. Not prioritize, but like share your like I when I have fun, I have fun just to balance it out because you can't kill yourself. You actually can't kill yourself. I was gonna just stay home. I'm like, no, I'm actually just good to make up with my friends just to de stress and come back come back at it. Like I get questions like, Oh, how do you how do you deal with stuff? How do you do girl, I deal with it. Like when I feel bad, I feel bad. I probably just call call like my friends and just vent and you know, cry if I need to and go back to the drawing board. Um yeah, and then just continue. I'm trying to be back on YouTube, trying to be consistent on other platforms, and I just, I'm just trusting the process. I'm trusting the process. Try not to compare. And try not to um, look at other people's journey. Like that's not my journey, and that is fine. I'm so happy for them. They had their own season, and this is just my season of waiting. I would say I definitely feel like. 2024 was I just think it's 2024 and a bit of 2023 but um yeah guys I will talk to you guys later bye you know how I was sounding so sad and woe is me I don't like that sorry about that but I wanted to be yeah what are you guys I was now like on my way back home and then I saw this I can't remember last time I picked up um, home decor or anything really from like people that walk on the road. Like I just, I don't know, I always feel like mm, it's never really that good. Maybe except books. So I was like, I actually, fr first of all, I have like two mirrors. I'm giving it to a carpenter. This man has held it for a month. Return my mirror because I've been trying to redo my bathroom. And this one, I think I actually have everything for my bathroom. Just give me the bloody mirror so I can start that makeover. They don't want to give you because. Anyway, so one of the mirrors was supposed to go here because I feel like this wall is so blank and a mirror is missing here. So I saw this and I was like, I actually like the shape. It's round, like this is, this is how the shape is. But I want to put it this way. So I actually, oh my God, guys, mirrors change so much. Ah, could this be, I mean, like this is nice, but I feel everything is. I can't lie, it's gonna be great for my picture, Sha. But it's not necessarily like a full length one. 
you know i feel maybe i can find a mirror somewhere but i can't lie i like it like this and i could just yeah i don't want it too high that's too high maybe somewhere here look how pretty this is guys it's so thin though so i don't know how i'm gonna put it i really don't know i used to have command strips but i don't have those anymore so that's something to think about but yeah i really like it i really, really like it what do you guys think is that a good way <laughs> this is so ox but i'm excited <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm very rich. <laughs> Good evening, it is Saturday. Didn't do much today, I just spring cleaned. I just realized I didn't wash my brushes and I need to film. But I did a facial and I don't want to use dirty brushes, but yeah. I'm going to Salma's, haven't been there in a minute and I'm going with Melissa. I have this new perfume in the mix, actually a gift. I don't know, apparently the spoken rule now is just to get, come see perfumes as gifts. I don't mind that. I'm liking this one. Um, what is this? Paco Rabanne. I didn't like it at first, but recently, me and her have been going real bad. I'm wearing this white dress from ASOS, but honestly, guys, they don't make invisible underwear the way they used to because I'm not comfortable with the underwear I have on. So I need to check before we head out. Yeah, it's almost it's past seven. Our reservation is at seven thirty, so I think I'm still early. Yeah, this is a new hair, nothing new. My hair is really due, so it's not getting fresh, but yeah. So yeah, this is how we are looking. It's a maxi dress. I just like white goes better with silver. So I wore silver um, earrings, silver bracelets. And yeah. Should I take you guys with me? Yeah, maybe. 
It's my other phone on. Oh, you guys, I just got to Salma's and I've never actually gone on this like go kart. Is this just what is it only me? Okay, there. Yeah. Let me see now. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> Today is actually a beach day. I haven't gone to the beach in a really long time, but my friend invited me for a friend's birthday. See, one thing about Lagos, we love a plus one <laughs> to everything because this is supposed to be like a private, like birthday beach day. I don't even know who the birthday person is, but I'm gonna pull up and then we're gonna be friends. That's just Lagos for you. I don't know, like. I remember when I used to feel so weird at first, like going to weddings where like I didn't know the couple. Guys, <laughs> if I've gone to a hundred weddings in Lagos, I've known the couple maybe ten times. <laughs> yeah, um it is what it is. And honestly, me talking about my wedding, cool. <laughs> I used to be very, oh, I just want people that I know, yeah, during the ceremony, but I can't lie, the plus ones make the party. If you know, you know. The plus ones make the party. So, my future brother should be like, I just want something, no, no, no. If you you know your friends that know that, like, unless you're friends, or you're, unless you have a crew, a big crew that also likes the party, let the plus ones come through because, and again, I'm not gonna have a plus one, but, you know, I'll, I'll add some spice, okay? I'll add some spice to it, but all I'm saying is the person don't know anyone, so they're just freer, they'll talk, they'll entertain your actual guests. So that is what I have noticed. Because when I've been to weddings where they're so strict with the whole plus one thing, mm, doesn't I don't know. Sometimes it's like uh, we need a mix, just some people to loosen everyone up. <laughs> that's what I've noticed. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. My friend is on his way to pick me up. You guys have met him before. That's when I went on a date with just little boy. He's actually my friend, guys. So yeah, I'm just. I woke up like 30 minutes ago. I'm talking about men. Men never tell you, give you ample time. Like you know, if. You're expecting a girl to come pick you up. She tell you, okay, I'm on my way. I'm leaving my house. Men just show up. <laughs> Men actually just show up. So I was like, I was like, yeah. I just said, oh, I just woke up. Text me when you're on. Text me when you're about to leave. This man texts me like 20 minutes later. Oh, I'm almost at yours. I was like, oh, he now says oh twice. I was like, so the way I'm rushing. But I'm still good for time. So it's his friend's birthday. So yeah, the sunscreen has to come out today. I can't find my beach bag, you guys. I need I need so many things. And this is how like I know what to I also invited Melissa. <laughs> Not the plus one invited me plus one, but yeah. Um that's who's texting me now. One thing about Melissa, she's such a stickler for time. Bless her. Like Lagos stresses her out. <laughs> I want to try the black girl 
sunscreen people say it's oily i think i tried it at my cousin's back in new york and it's oily but i like it i don't know <laughs> i actually like it should i add more sunscreen probably because oh my god yeah i just did a facial and i haven't washed my brushes i was so i wanted to okay, i wanted to film sponsored ad yesterday and i was just like come see be responsible because i can't lie guys my skin i'm gonna be doing this oh i'm sorry for my account like no my skin is so good i'm obsessed with the glow i went out you guys saw me yesterday at salma did you see how i was glowing in that go kart is it called a go kart or a golf kart what's it called a boogie that's not called a boogie anyway child i was glowing melissa was like she thought she put a filter on ah! that was nice <laughs> But yeah. Um where is okay. Oh, I'm not good at not good on time. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I even need to iron it. <laughs> yes, I'm that girl. I will iron something that does not look nice. For the look to be a success. Um Okay guys, so this is what we're going to end up wearing. The top is skimmed, it's very transparent, so I have the my bikini under this i don't know if i'm going to swim but yeah and then this is the bikini i'm wearing these white pants but i'll show you guys in a better light uh i'm gonna go with sole long which is a very beachy-esque vibe fresh if you want to see like my perfume haul i'm gonna have like two more now my perfume collection ish you can check it it's like three videos back like i don't think the beach is a place for oud <laughs> do you understand like or woody i don't know i just feel fresh flirty beachy i actually need a proper like beach bag because the beach bag i have now is this sort of beach bag that something can kind of fall out because it's woven but i need those beach bags that like it's still woven but it's secure like nothing will fall out so i think i'm just gonna use this one even though it doesn't let me pack a lot okay let's go again later <laughs> it's it has it's blessing us so big hey, what did you tell me when i walked in, when i came into the car the perfume take my advice guys <laughs> this guy said 11 30 what's the time just 12 oh i'm going to pick up another person but as, as Melissa doesn't understand that like every time like babe it's not my fault you can't be on time <laughs> yes. hmm. let me go to the back seat too because landlady's coming to the car <laughs> <laughs> for all you female friends that the guys please don't be annoying when the babe is coming just go to the back okay it's not competition go to the back it's fine <laughs> please baby open this at least help me open the car the car right. seat Rubbish. Just go to the back. You don't need to do too much. Okay. You're too slow. <laughs> I'm still filming. <laughs> I hope not. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you let me push it forward a bit? A girl has long legs. No, but yeah. when you were in front. Okay, no one was at the back, so hush. <laughs> Melissa is going to kill me. Should be fine, child. <laughs> I'll cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> this is here. Copyright is gonna kill me. <laughs>
Stand and tell you the truth, but we never did it Cause I usually do, do the business, but we ain't my blue 